I, I, that is exactly what I, I... That's a perfect segue into my first question. You celebrating like that. I have a picture that I saw of you at the U.S. Open. Oh, yes. Look at you celebrating for <laughs> Serena. I love... Is that a real celebration, or is that just a one-off for Instagram? Oh, oh, no, that's, like, the realest... That's, like, the most Serena... Really? E expression ever. Like, when I, when I watch her, even on the couch, I'm like that. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, yeah, come on! Yeah, I mean, also, you know what helps? You know the U.S. Open drinks, the melon ones? Yes. With the little tennis ball melons? <laughs> a couple of those. Yeah, because when I get there, I'm a wreck. Like, I'm so anxious. Because you're friends with Serena. Yeah, so I, like, take it really personally. Like, I think that she can really, like, feel, you know, feel that I'm her there supporting her. She has no idea. And, um... <laughs> no, but she does... You... Till after the game, she doesn't really know I'm there, probably. No, she do... You're very loud. Very loud. Yeah, you're great. You're a great friend to have. Uh, so this last match you're watching, you're just like, come on, bud. You're, yeah, you're I mean, no, just, like, when, when, you know, if she was... Yeah. Serve in one way or another, and then... You know. And then it just happens, and I can feel her feel it, then, like, oh, it's just but the do best. You, do you... Do, does she... You were saying you text her, and she'll get back to you, like, during oh, yeah, the... yeah, it's... No, during, during the game. <laughs> during the... Yeah. She gets back to me during the yeah, game. Yeah, right there, no. No, no, no. I just... I, you know, just you try support. to send, like, a supportive message, and you're like, she's not gonna respond. Like, she's in the U.S. Open this week, whatever. But what do you do if you hang out with Serena Williams? What would you do, would you do with Serena? If you... Like, Karaoke, you... mostly. Really? Ka Serena is a karaoke, like, legend. Really? Yeah. I love knowing this. What is she her go-to? Do you know what her song is? I can't. You'll have to ask. She's on next week, right? She's coming on, You'll yeah. have to ask her what her go-to song is. What is yours? Is mine, mine goes a lot of different directions. Really depends on the night. You know, I try to take it, keep the vibes going. Yeah. But sometimes I'll throw in, like, a Disney song here and there. <laughs> Swear to God. Yeah. I could, do, like, I could see you do like, that. Like, I just can't wait to be king. That's your jam? <laughs> Lion King is your, is your jam? Sometimes I'll throw it in there, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm feeling I, it. I don't know if I say this every time you're on the show. I love your voice. You do? Yeah, I think that you should do a, a movie or a, an animated movie or a podcast or something like that. Thank because, you. Yeah, I just love it. I, I'm always like, oh, what a great voice. Oh, I appreciate that. I yeah. feel like you're probably one of the only people that thinks that. Oh, no way. Thanks, Jimmy. No way. But I... it means the most to me. Like, obviously, y y you know... I hear a lot of voices. You, you have one of the best voices of all time. <laughs> I don't, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, we'll does. get to that. He does, he does, right? Uh, but when I, uh, no. So here's, here's why I, 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 one of the reasons why I love you. Last time I was talking to you, you said, I'm working on this clothing brand. Mm -hmm. And you go, and I go, oh yeah, you should do this. Like, Gigi Hadid, just come out with your, and you go, I know, but I'm actually doing it the right way. I want to make sure it's perfect. This was years ago. So, I mean, a lot of work yeah. goes into this stuff. I mean, you know, I think that it was the next, the next natural step for me was to start a clothing company. And I felt a lot of pressure for a few years to, to do that, whether that be from a deal or, you know, people on my team. And I was like, look, I'm just going to take my time and figure, I don't need to do a fast fashion company just because, you know, the offer is there and yeah. whatever. So I want to take my time and look at my wardrobe and think about something that would feel genuine for me to make and also for people to see that coming from me and know that... You know, it does come from something that I care about. And cashmere, yeah. yeah it's just, You're wearing it uh, tonight. I'm wearing this it is... tonight. This is the coziest I've ever been on, on TV. Yeah, yeah, you always, so yeah but I mean, you really are. But you were saying it's called, it's called Guess in Residence is the, uh, is the uh, label. What, what, yeah. What's the meaning behind the name, Guess in Residence? Guess in Residence, well, to me, a Guess in Residence is someone... Like, like Jimmy, who walks into every room with a warmth and a sense of comfort in themselves that um, they're ready to take on the world around them, have wonder about the person in front of them, and that's just like a cozy person to me. So it kind of just felt like this material that could go do those things with people. And this is, you know, has such a sustainable quality to it, this material, that I really want to encourage this generation to invest in good quality pieces and keep them for a long time in their wardrobes and then pass them down to people they love. And yeah, you know, you, it is a luxury item. I don't need people to buy 10 sweaters a year, but I, I want to encourage thinking about what you're consuming. Just, yeah, you, you were saying the, the, what inspired you, one of the reasons that you, is your mom bought you a, a, a sweater well, when, you, when, when you first I, moved to the city? Yeah, yeah. When I came to New York, um, I it was a crazy winter, my first... Uh, 
year of college, it was like the coldest winter ever. And you know, there was one winter where the, the snow was piled up on both sides of the street, like you couldn't even cross the street. You couldn't even see the trash bags. You couldn't bags. even see, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> So um, I, I took a sweater from each of my parents for this, you know, first big winter of mine, and it kind of was this piece that I would, you know, one, you never get rid of it because it means something, and it kind of becomes this heirloom that you learn to take care of and that has this really um, nice nostalgic feeling to it, and I just yeah. felt, you know. And so everyone, on your Christmas list, get guests in residence and get one special one and just hand it down for years and years to come. It is yeah. the cool, it is the softest, by the way. Yeah. Jimmy! Ooh, I love it. I'm wearing the socks. Oh, the socks as well. We got it all going down. Uh, let me throw out a pair of socks. You're gonna love one of these. This is this is good here. Guess in the residence. Split them. Hand them. One wears one I'm, sock. One wears the I'm other. Throwing. You got one? Yeah. You're throwing. It. We're throwing out socks, people. We're throwing out socks. That is guest in residence right there. Ladies and gentlemen, Gigi Hadid. Guest in residence. We'll be right back with Blake Shelton, everybody. Come on back. Hey.